So I headed on in to Okinawa World, which is like a place with like massive caves I hear and like some stuff about Okinawa inside. I've been, we had to drive to get here. That's our rental car. Driving on the left side of the road, which has been a bit of a challenge. The most, the biggest thing being, you tend to use your wipers as your signal. It's not, the left side of the road is fine. You just kind of just reverse your brain, but like, for whatever reason, wipers instead of your signal is a constant thing. So you kind of look like a fucking idiot. And also, uh, trying to back into like parking spaces. You always, I just keep wanting to do this yeah. and like put my hand right out my window. Oh, these? Oh, those. Yeah, these are my sunglasses that I got. You these are my new sunglasses. sunglasses. Thanks for noticing. Got them down at the mall last night. Yeah. They're all right. They don't feel as good as they did for my first car trip this morning. Yeah, Fucking know. put them on the top of the hood and then we, we were like, did we leave them at the coffee place? No. <laughs> I left them on top of the car. We drove over them. So, well, I don't know if we drove over them. Somebody else drove over them, I think. I'll catch the motherfucker. All right, we'll see you inside. So first really sour experience here in Japan, just got done watching the Habu Snake Show. In a moment there's going to be a mongoose up inside that tube and he's going to have to wait through the entire fucking show to be dunked into a water tube. I'll show footage right here. Dunked into a water tube to race a Habu Snake, no a water snake, yeah. next to him in another tube. And it's to compare how the mongoose, and this is exactly the translation that they have provided on the box. The mongoose is very desperate to swim through the water because if he's not careful, he will drown. Yeah, you know what? He looked pretty fucking desperate to get out of this entire situation because he's in a fucking tube all day listening to fucking random shows. At least it's every two hours. I know. It's every two hours, so this guy has to do this. I guess when you think it's every two hours, it's not as bad. Because I was thinking, like, he's going to have to do this again in two minutes. Yeah. Because the show only takes, like... 20 minutes. But then she smacks the fucking snake she on the She was showing head. people how to... <laughs> <laughs> it's Becky's first taboo. Well, I'm glad we got some <laughs> levity out of this. Anyways, I got she upset. She was showing people how to, how to avoid getting attacked. To smack it on the head. Yeah. So and it doesn't hurt the snake? No, it doesn't. She smacked it hard. I get really upset about animal shit, guys. Yeah. I'm just trying to be honest. But anyways, it did make me mad seeing the mongoose sit there. Because he had to sit there for like five minutes in this little tiny compartment. And then he's dropped in. And he looks really fucking like, what the fuck? And the whole time he's like blinking and looking around the room. And they do this test with a balloon to show how... And it's really neat, kind of. I like those parts. Yeah. It was like just showing snake behavior, like they showed a hot water filled balloon and a cold balloon and he sees the hot water balloon and it'll attack it, like he, cause he sees body temperature. I thought that was neat, but like the whole time and when it pops, when he attacks it and it pops, the mongoose half a room away, it's like... Yeah. Anyways. It's been a rough Apparently, they used to fight to the death. They had a mongoose fight a snake to the death until PETA complained. So, small victories. <sighs> Becky's upset when I get upset. <laughs> but she's upset that I'm upset, yeah. but... <laughs> All right. At least, look at this. Does the cruelty ever end? <laughs> What's happening here? At least you know when I'm vlogging, I'm honest, even when I'm vlogging. I'm not gonna just put on a happy face and be like, Japan's the best. I still get upset about shit. 